All right, everyone, so I am making supper now, and I am making a ravioli lasagna out of food that we received from the food pantry. There's only one item in this that was not from the pantry, and that is the cottage cheese. Uh, Glenn likes cottage cheese in his lasagna. Uh, the only thing cheese I didn't get was the uh, ricotta cheese. Last time I used it, I really didn't taste the difference so and it's not cheap so I opted not to get it and the first time I made this type of lasagna I didn't put it in there either and it tasted fine so the products or the food that we used from the pantry was this block of mozzarella cheese that I shredded up myself the ground beef is from the pantry I chopped up an onion from the pantry and the Prego pasta sauce is from the pantry. So even though I bought onions this past week, I was still using onions that we received from the pa pantry last week. So all of those items, including these cheese raviolis that we received from the pantry. When we first got these, the first thing I thought about was this lasagna. So I put it in the freezer, and they're pretty big too. You'll see when I layer the uh, casserole dish. I put it in the freezer, waiting for a second bag at some point, hope, hoping uh, so I could make this meal. But I might have enough with just one bag, but I do have two. So all of those things are from the pantry. And then, of course, like I said, the only thing not from the pantry is the cottage cheese, which I bought this past week. All right, so I'm just going to start. Uh, as you can see, I already did the ground beef, onions, and pasta sauce in there, and that was simmering for a little bit. So now we're just going to layer. Alright, so we're going to put a little bit of the ground beef mixture at the bottom, so that way the raviolis don't burn and stick to the bottom. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Okay, it smells good. And if I have some of this uh, ground beef left with the pasta sauce in it, I'll freeze it for when we have spaghetti sometime. And that'll work out great. Alright, so I'm going to take out these raviolis. And they are cheese raviolis. So they are this size, the palm of my hand. So I'm just going to layer these right here. Now the first time I cooked this, um, I covered it for like a half hour and then uncovered it for like 45, 45 minutes or so. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the same thing or just leave it uncovered more of the time. Alright, so there's that. And it, it's okay if it's not all covered. Alright, so now we're going to put more ground beef. It's going to be at least two layers. Actually, it's only going to be two layers. <laughs> we don't want any more than two layers. And last time I made this also, I made it in the 8x8 and it kind of spilled over. So I think this is a 9x7, so it's really not different in size. Um, less on one, an uh, inch less on one side and an inch more on the other side. So. And like I said, Glenn doesn't like a lot of ground beef in his dishes. Um, so I'm just going to leave it right there. And now I'm going to put a layer of cottage cheese. He does like cottage cheese though. And I have to save some for the second layer. So I'm already halfway through this tub. So this is a pretty good food pantry meal considering lasagna, um, a meal. I think a lot of people are intimidated by lasagna. I was at one point more so cooking those damn noodles. I actually like the raviolis better. <laughs> 
All right, I'm going to leave it at that and save the rest for the second layer. And now I'm going to put more, more raviolis. I'll have to open the second bag. All right, so next layer of ground beef. And I think I'm going to actually leave this uncovered to get that uh, little crispiness on the top layer of cheese. All right. Yeah, it looks like I'll have plenty of meat to freeze for when we have spaghetti. All right. So now I'm going to put in the rest of the cottage cheese. Now we're going to throw mozzarella, and again I shredded it. We got a block of mo mozzarella from the pantry, and I just shredded it up myself. And I'll probably be able to freeze some of this mozzarella too. Today is definitely a fall-like day, 64 degrees, cloudy all day, little drizzle, Not it didn't rain like it was supposed to, but it did rain yesterday. And then we're actually, after Friday, we're going to get like 8 days of 70 and over, even close to 80. We start off fall early and then we end up in summer again. But that'll make Glenn happy, so... I'll be happy for them. I know once once that's over, it's definitely going to be fall weather. All right, so we're done. Now I'm going to throw it in the oven. I'll check it at about 30 minutes, um, or if I hear it fall, uh, sizzling over. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back. All right, everyone, so it has been an hour and I did not cover it up at all. It did spill over, but I'm so happy that I had tinfoil lined on the bottom of the oven. So happy about that. <laughs> so it didn't give off a burny smell or anything. But as you can see, the cheese got nice and crusty, which is how we like it. So I'm going to let this set for 15 minutes or so. Uh, that way it can form and set. And then I'll cut a piece. So stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, while this is uh, just sitting here, I'm going to make some garlic bread out of just re uh, regular pieces of uh, sandwich bread. Okay, so I just got some uh, garlic bread made up. I'm going to put it in the oven now. So it's just sandwich bread with some butter and garlic powder on it. So put it in the oven, and when this comes out, we'll be ready to cut the lasagna. Alright everyone, so I let it set for about 15 minutes and then the garlic bread is done so it came out pretty formed, <laughs> which I'm happy about. And I'm also happy, one, because there's tin foil at the bottom of the oven so it's easy cleanup. And two, the casserole dish is quite messy but that particular dish fits in the sink completely so it's nothing but soaking it. For a little while <laughs> all right so there is our ravioli lasagna all from food pantry items except one thing which was the cottage cheese so that just goes to show you you can make a delicious meal with items you get from the food pantry and that's going to do it for this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it I really appreciate all the support, and with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.